Ah, nothing like the mon modern conveniences of the campground. A little water, old hand pump. Hi YouTube. Uh, we're here at the, it's called the Moose Race Campground. It's a sportsman kept up site. And a uh, beautiful day here. It's uh, 70 degrees, blue skies. We had rain this morning, but it's all cleared off. And uh, we're going to spend a couple nights here. Uh, so what the campsites look like. Uh, just rustic. There's my sister down there coming out of the porta potty. And here you go. Five dollar a night. What more can you ask for than that? What a deal. Bathroom. Pump. See the road coming in. We got a few dark clouds. Could get a shower yet this afternoon. That uh, that bear print was just up the road there, a quarter of a mile or less. So we definitely have to mind our food down here. But uh, give us a fancy modern convenience bathroom. I'm so hot. I want to swim again now. <laughs> Well, we'll have to take a swim, ah! won't we? You don't have to take a swim. One second ago, I'd be like, no, no, no. And now it's like, oh, I'm so hot. The minute the sun comes out. Yeah. We had our lunch up here on top on this picnic table. There's absolutely no one else here so far at the site. Other than we got a bald eagle and a family of geese. Beaver. A beaver went by earlier. But these are what the campsites look like. There's us down below. There's a launch site on the Michigami River. And you can float down into the little town of Republic. This river here actually flows all the way into Lake Michigan. Becomes part of the Menominee River chain once it meets up with the Brule River coming out of Wisconsin. And got a bit of wind. And the river's high for this time of year. We've had considerable amount of rain. I've got a little wind filter on my camera mic here. That'll take care of uh, some of the sound here so you can hear me. This is the launch site for people with canoes mainly and kayaks. It's too shallow for any kind of power boat here. And the water's this color due to the tannins in the trees. It gives them that kind of root beer color. And this is our view. The metal is along the edge. We made a little bit of firewood for tonight. A campfire here. We should have some good stars. My sister. Uh, how to set a nice view. Well, we got a little grill. And this is my tent there. My sister's tent there. And someone's left a clothesline for us. If you want to take a swim later, we'll dry our bathing suits and towels. But uh, this is basically what the Michigami River looks like here. There's uh, all kinds of fish here. There's uh, muskie, northern pike, bass fishing. There's uh, German brown trout in here. Occasional brook trout. Uh, a few pan fish. Uh, walleye pike. And uh, this is fairly remote. We're in Marquette County and we're between between Marquette and Iron Mountain, Michigan. Uh, Lake Superior is about 40 miles due north and the watershed's flowing south here and about 
25 miles north, the watershed then flows toward Lake Superior to the north. So this is where we'll be for the next couple days. I'll try to get another video clip. Uh, it's car camping with the comforts. We need them, I guess, in our old age. But it's still very remote, very rustic. And we're going to make the most of it. My sister camps most every weekend at some campground, mostly state campgrounds. And this is just a little more quiet, hopefully, and rustic. And she's cooling her feet. I'm going to take a swim after, or at least wait around. It's a little chilly, the wind's up, but, <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to make the most of the day. Okay, everybody, uh, this is it from northern Michigan in the UP. And... Uh, Hopefully we'll have a nice quiet night here with a lot of stars just before the new moon, so it should be a dark night. Take care.